Now on BBC Two Scotland, exploring a range of subjects from torture to freedom of thought, the impact of the UN's Human Rights Declaration on Scottish society. My name is Peter Dow and I'm 47 years old. I've lived all my life in Scotland. Politically speaking, I'm a Republican Socialist. In the future, I would see a Scottish President elected by the people of Scotland to be the Head of State of Scotland, to get rid of the Queen and to have a Scottish Republic. I do this because I'm very passionate about my politics. I care very much about what happens to the people. And if you care, then you want to, to, to make a difference. I'm just taking these common ideas of democracy, freedom, human rights, and putting them forward for, for the people of Scotland, for us to implement for ourselves. It's nothing brand new in what I'm saying, but, but it does need to be said in every generation. Every generation that has to be said. Queen was in Edinburgh to meet the new head of her devolved government, who's committed to ending the union between Scotland and England. A special flight to Holyrood for the Queen this evening. But again, it's not every day that you're greeting a First Minister who wants to end the political union between the two main parts of your kingdom. I cannot forget that I was crowned Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Alex Salmond stresses the Queen would remain head of state even in an independent Scotland. Democracy does not mean, and has never meant, dictatorship by the majority. It means government by all the people. And I would say we need to banner. We need to say, go and don't come back. It's a battle between those who want to shut you up, hide you away, ignore you, make sure that you are ignored, make sure no one can hear you, and you and your own intelligence, your own initiative, trying to combat them and try, try and get noticed, try to get your message out there. It's, it's a struggle. Politics very often is a struggle. People who inspire me are people like Spartacus, people like William Wallace, people who volunteered to go and fight the fascists in Spain. Marvellous. So how do I get my message across? Well, first of all, you have to get people's attention. You have to get yourself noticed first, and then people will start to listen. Protest against the Queen attending the Scottish Parliament. Protest against the Queen, sir. Protest against the Queen attending the Scottish Parliament. Protest against the Queen attending the Scottish Parliament, madam. Trying to get your poster displayed. You're trying to get people's attention to discuss politics, to raise issues, to give them a leaflet, that's, that's what you'll do. You'll take every opportunity uh, to, to advance the case.
I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, that we should vote in our head of state like any modern, sensible country would do. Scottish Republicans are the true nationalists. We're the ones who are looking out for the people of Scotland. We don't even have a free parliament, never mind a free country. Now, it's a job of head of state to make sure the members of parliament are free to speak out in parliament. The Queen has failed us yet again. We should elect a head of state. Yeah, sure. Well, when you're protesting, very often you will attract the attention of the police. They will think of themselves as the defenders of the management, of the elected politicians, of the Queen. And they will see you as a problem, a potential security risk. You will be sidelined, you will be ignored, and they will try to you know, make you invisible. Marked out with railings, kind of like a sheep pen. The police had treated us like sheep. It was too far away to get noticed, it was too far away to get heard. But that's as near as we were allowed to get, so you've got to make the best of it. It's an actual job of head of state to be done. You know, the Queen's mostly ceremonial rubber stamping everything. And it's, it's to do with defending the basic liberties of the people. So even the members of parliament aren't free under this Queen. Uh, so how can we possibly expect to have a free country? We can't. People will say, well, I may not be with you on the day, but uh, they'll, they'll sympathise and agree um, with what you're trying to do. They can, they can see that you're, uh, you're, you're doing your best, and that's all that anyone can be expected to do is their best. Have some independence from the Queen, ladies and gentlemen. Let us be proud Scots and elect our own head of state. Let's have a president of a Scottish Republic. Let's have a head of state who defends the liberties of the people and Parliament of Scotland. We are being betrayed, ladies and gentlemen of Scotland, by those members of the Scottish Parliament today who have invited Queen Elizabeth. You do need a, a bit of courage to go out there as a campaign. That's how you become a brave heart. You need to have the heart, the compassion, you need to have the courage, you need to have the bravery to go out there and put your case forward. Some people will never understand a campaign. Uh, you, can't, you can't allow yourself to be put off by, by strong criticism. That's, that's expected. The Queen is still there. I haven't got a Scottish Republic yet, but people said, we're never going to get a Scottish Parliament. And they were wrong, and those of us who campaigned for years were right. If you have the right ideas, you go out there and you put them forward confidently, and you will win your case. I protect Scotland! 